So since I work from home, um, one of the benefits uh, sidebar is uh, being around when things are being baked, cooked. Today we're gonna make some uh, Kentucky Derby pie. It's basically chocolate pecan pie with a shot or two of bourbon. It is scrum delicious. Gonna bring it along with us today. It takes a couple shots of bourbon, a pie crust, some chopped pecans, uh, chocolate chips, some dark corn syrup, some sugar, light brown sugar, some eggs, and so on. I'm gonna bring you along for the ride. Put on your smell vision Well, good afternoon, folks. As the filming crew, I get to witness uh, the makings of a pie today. Not any pie, this is a Kentucky Derby pie. Start out with some Kentucky straight, and the rest is history. If we're lucky, we'll get a taste test along the way. So one of the first things we'll start out with is a sort of a lukewarm pie crust. If it's too cold, it'll crumble out of the package there. So she just nukes it in the microwave for a few seconds and rolls that pie crust out in that nice pie dish there. Next goes in a half a cup of chopped pecans, followed by six ounces of chocolate chips, semi-sweet. And pie wouldn't be pie without some sugar. So in this case, uh, we're gonna do a little uh, dark corn syrup, a little brown sugar, uh, a little white sugar. So half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of light brown sugar, and a quarter cup of bourbon or water if you don't wanna use the bourbon. Or you can use a combination of either. Gonna make a pretty sweet mix, especially with that dark corn syrup. Oh man. My wife says her mama used to put that on a pacifier <laughs> when she was a baby. I bet that was good. So like I said earlier in the video, one of the perks of working out of my home is I'm around when things are baked or cooked. Uh, in this case, a good little taste test. <laughs> a little shot of bourbon there. Mmm, that went down good. I approve. Carry on. So you stir this mixture and put it on the stove, bring it to a boil, and boil it for three minutes. Stirring all the while. Next, there is a half a, a stick of butter and four eggs to mix together to incorporate into this mix after it's boiled.
Now we're adding two tablespoons of uh, cornmeal and some vanilla flavoring to this butter and egg mix. And we'll whisk that in there. Once those ingredients are incorporated and stirred in, then we get to pour that mixture over the uh, chocolate chips and the pecans. And ooh, does it look scrunt delicious. Can't wait for a piece of that. So we're gonna bake this pie at 325 for about an hour. So she recently picked up these uh, pie pans, these stoneware uh, pie pans from uh, Sam's Club. Meanwhile, the uh, pets are out enjoying themselves in a sunny day today. Whoever thought that would happen? Ooh, I smell that pie now. Ooh, wow. What? Kentucky Derby pie? <gasps> Princess, you're awful brave. Smells good, yeah. It's countdown to Kentucky Derby Pie, folks. Get in your places and straighten up your faces. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Gotta call a cook. Oh, smells awesome. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yes. Would you look at that, folks? Oh, golden brown crust. Mmm, scrump delicious. That's what Rocky and Princess have been smelling. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, or dissent. You've been watching the Junkyard Tailgate channel. Good day.